some bullshit, if you ask me. Anyways, so... Um, yeah, it works now. I don't know why it, why it did that. Um, I think I might want to do this in Node.js, actually. Because then I can base right now, the thing I'm doing and the thing that I wanted to say is that um, I'm making a program which creates a sitemap, right? So um, right now, this is what we got. Um, so it writes the, the last modified date and it writes the, the URL. It has to have do some cutting right here. But the problem with this is that it indexes things which it should probably not index. Um, and I guess that's bad. Um, uh, the links, they are, you know, if this is a sitemap file. It's because right now, um, I guess this is the, the website I'm doing it for, right? My website. Um, and the problem is that um, it's not very well indexed. So I need to get this better indexed um, by Google. Um, and I think a way I could do it is uh, do it this way, right? But the problem by doing it this way uh, is that uh, right now I index all the... So the way my website works is that um, I have JavaScript files, uh, which I serve uh, dynamically uh, with my router. Um, so when I click here, uh, you see there is no, and apparently this doesn't work. So maybe I messed something up. And it also seems, okay, so it doesn't work right now. It seems almost, okay, here it works. But uh, I have a local router, uh, which, uh, let me see if I can find it, find it which is here, uh, which serves um, JavaScript files. Uh, here um, and XML sitemap.com because I don't think this would do it. I guess that you know I can try, right? But I don't think this would do it. The problem is that the structure I've made for my for my website, like the structure I, I've used. Um, I don't think they are very well at indexing because it's it's dynamic, right? Uh, and here it's doing a postback. That's not supposed to happen. But as you see, it's not refreshing. Uh, so it's not... Um, it's only injecting new content uh, by a JavaScript it's requesting. So it's actually requesting a JavaScript when it changed uh, the path or when it changed the content. Um, you know, it also changes the URL. Uh, but I think if I, you know, also it still works if I go to the URL, it can figure that out. Uh, but um, I think uh, if I write a, a program that can make a sitemap for me, maybe I'll get uh, better indexing or something. I'm not sure. But I, I think uh, it would be good, maybe. At least it, I can try it out, right? It's still programming. I probably learned something. It's not that this is very complex to do, right? It's very simple. Uh, very simple stuff, I would say. Uh, but... Why you don't block the JS file from indexing the HC access? Oh, did I did I expose the HT access? I'm not sure. Maybe I did. Maybe that's something you saw. <laughs> I guess I have to uh, do that somewhere else. But that's not. Uh, yeah, that's. I guess I have to fix that. Maybe that's not good. 
Yeah, I don't I don't want the, those contents to be indexed. That's right. Um, I don't know. Probably, maybe I have have some things which should not be be showed. Um, uh, let me one second. I'll check something quickly here, so I don't fuck anything up. Okay, I guess I can just yeah. I'll try. Uh, I'll try Node.js. I haven't coded Node.js in some time, but I guess that will. Um, just make something, I guess this is how you do, right? So side, create side map, or actually, let me make a folder. So create side map dot, map dot JS. And how do you do then? Um, run Node.js uh, CMD or something. I guess I have to go into the file, right? So. So just no dot uh, what is it called sitemap the js can you just do this PHP five yeah I really I really don't like where I have the server to be honest but it's cheap right now and it works. It might cause security issues. I, I don't really care about uh, what would you say? Like I don't even have any PHP. That's the pro. Like I don't have any server side code. The only problem I can have is exposing files I shouldn't expose. Um, that's the problem I think. The only problem because it's static right now. There's no. Um, there's no server side doing these things, right? Order deny allow. Yeah, I should probably, but I should. Uh, I should. Um, what would you say? Uh, remove that from indexing. I guess. It actually still got some here, but it didn't get all of them. Like the JS files for preventing users doing injections or other nasty stuff. Uh, like there is no database. The only thing I think they can fuck up is if they get access to uploading files. To be honest, then maybe they can do something. Else they shouldn't be able to do, I think. Maybe if there is a bug in... Uh, because the thing I use the server for right now is basically only file serving, right? I only use the server for file serving. Um, anyway, so how do you do Node.js? Let me figure that out. Um, Node.js file um, without it being like a server or, or something. Do you have? Can you just do? Hey, what you working on, homie? Um, I'm trying to make a sitemap actually right now. And I just went away from doing Python uh, to doing Node.js. But I'm not sure, can you run Node.js without? All of this shit. Like I don't need to create a server, right? I just want to run something with the file system.
Oh, maybe it's because I need to open Node.js, right? It's probably right. Why? I love Python. A man you was using Django, I guess, maybe. Uh, no, I was not using any frameworks, if that's what you were asking. Um. Okay, so this works, I guess. Um. But, um, node, this, let me see, node, this.js. Okay, so we print it, fine, that's good. So it means we can run it, then I don't have to bother about that. Um, and I guess I can even go so far as importing that uh, other file. This is what I did before, but it's kind of stupid, I think. Um, because I have to base the sitemap on uh, some routing I have. I guess maybe I should actually think here and not just plunge ahead or something. Um, because I have this and it might be kind of stupid. It gives an object, right? So I guess maybe I can import this. Um, so um, what do we call it? Node.js import JavaScript file. So how do you do? I guess I need to export this or something. Export this or what? Oh, this is bad. Um, module export, but if I export it, then it becomes a module and it doesn't work on the website anymore. Right, I think. I guess we can do this and then import or what? How do you import from another JavaScript file? Um, Node.js import file. Yeah, I, I didn't specify it. It's kind of stupid that I even wrote it, to be honest. Because I don't know if it's require or import. Like, what do you use these days? Is it even import? Um, no, I'm not mixing Python and JS right now. Um, I just stopped doing Python because I thought it's probably easier if I export this file and then uh, create this sitemap based on that. It's because I have to create a sitemap actually. Um, I guess we can do S, what do we call this? M, SM from, or how do you start from star SM? I think that's it, right? Um, then we should be able to say, uh, so we have to reach this, I suppose, right? How's it done? Route map. Let's see, can we print this even? Okay, so unexpected token import. I guess that's not how you do it. Star as M from. Okay, so import. Okay. And there's a dot here. Maybe I need that. I'm not sure what this is based on. I might need the whole path, right? Um, and I guess what we can actually, I guess I can actually specify that it's only this instead of importing the whole, I only have exposed one thing anyways, right? So we should be able to use this now, I think. Nope. So what does it say? Uh, it became a Node project right now. It was a Python project, <laughs> but then it changed. Um, it doesn't really matter so much what it's, because it's only scripting right now. I just need to script something, to be honest. 
And instead of going with Python, I, I went with Node. Because I, I have to base it on some other file, which is uh, JavaScript. I mean, it's, it's just working with files anyways. It doesn't matter what it's in, really. Mm, so let me see. Uh, da, da, da. Do we really need, like, how do you access? If I want to access or run some node, do I have to have the whole path here or something? Like, how, how does this work? Unexpected new script. Uh, this doesn't seem to work. Doesn't seem to work. Import, I guess, import JavaScript module, right? That's what I need. Include modules require, but how do you, can you just reference to a, to a file or something? My first module seems to have something here, right? My first module, DT. So where is this located? Export my daytime. Okay, so this is in this file. Okay, so they don't even add the extension. I really enjoy machine learning, building a robot now with a Pi. So yeah, yeah, I love uh, Python. Yeah, there's a lot of good, uh, there's a lot of good libraries for Python. Very good libraries for machine learning and so on. So var, maybe this is how you have to do it. You cannot do it this way. Um, or what? Yes, this would make sense, I think. DT require, and this is then route map, right? Maybe I don't have to export anything in the other file. No. Cannot find module. VFX. What is VFX? Oh. So my first module is located somewhere. And this is the thing, so, oh, it's probably, yes, it's probably because I need to do this right. I don't escape the path the right way. So I get out here, get out here, yes, maybe that's it. Uh, no. Cannot find module content. Escape, escape, content. Pff, fuck.
How do you require your own Node.js or your own JavaScript? Uh, in Node.js. Understanding module export and import. Okay, so block, uh, blah, blah, blah. So export, module export. Is this how you need to do? Module export something. Hmm. Because we need to escape it two times. Okay, so unexpected token export. So maybe I get it now, but it's just not. Can't you? I don't understand. Can't you use new? Why can't you do this? Module exports equal. Well, that does. Uh, I probably need to find some code. I'm not sure about this right now. Module export new. Can you do something like this? Oh, yes. So we got something cool, apparently. Um, okay, I guess we can do something now. Um, this one, right? This stuff we need. So this is a map. somewhat odd. All right. Um, so entries, yes, I think it is. Let me see, uh, JavaScript, get map entries. So next we create this and let's do that. It's fine. Iterate on what does this return? Next dot value. I guess we can do a while then, right? So iterator dot next. Um, and I'm not sure then. Uh, does iterator return the first one? I guess then we can do iterator dot value, right? Uh, value console that lock see what happens if we do this 
Undefined, undefined, undefined. Great. Hmm. So you're just stupid. Oh, you have to get next dot value. Can you assign it up here? Um, I'm not sure. Okay, so that seems to work, right? I think. It prints the whole object still. Hmm. Interesting. Wait a minute. Key holds nothing. Okay. And then it's branches. So how's this done? I think for a web, I would not use Node. I'm fond of Django or for asynchronous Angular 4 with RESTful API and Python backend. Um, that was what I was trying to say. The thing I'm doing right now has not so much uh, to do with the website itself. It's more about creating a sitemap based on a local routing. Because you can see I have some uh, route map here. Uh, because uh, my site is... Um, what would you say? Um, the site is like uh, React and it made a post back there. It's not supposed to happen, but I don't know why it does that actually. Uh, I probably messed something up, but um, you know, you can see here it's not, it's not uh, refreshing, right? It's not doing a post back um, because uh, I'm injecting a JavaScript. Uh, no, I'm not doing any frameworks. So I'm uh, I'm trying to do it without uh, using frameworks for it right now, at least. Um, because then I understand, you know, uh, it's kind of like React, as you can see. The load times are pretty good. Uh, clear the cache. I can clear the cache. Um, Yeah, okay, I just fucked it up, that's right. Um, doesn't work because of this, uh, because, <laughs> because I'm doing this right. Um, Node.js, which basically messes it up. And I have some other thing which messes it up. Um, but, let me see, now I probably destroyed it. Great. It's because I export, I may not export here. Um, no, no, I'm not doing a post. It's it's a mistake. It's refreshing. It's because I changed something in the router yesterday or something. It's not doing. Uh, it, it's not doing any request, or it's only doing, like it's doing one request at first, where it requests 
uh, a HTML site, but after that it's only one JavaScript site uh, that's requested. Um, that's why it's loading, you know, fast enough, I would say. Uh, I mean, what are the load time? This might be some extensions which slows it down, but you know, it's not very much for it changing. Um, like what is it here? 40 milliseconds or something for a page change, which I think is somewhat good at least. Um, I can optimize it more, of course, but and there's also some things which probably shouldn't happen and so on. But um, anyways, you see, if you have this, it's probably doing something odd. Like if you have extensions, sometimes they are messing up stuff. Uh, anyways, whatever. I'll see if I can do this uh, map. It's almost like this is more difficult than the Python. Um, because I have to look at this map object. I have to create a, like a recursive function actually. So let me see, uh, walk map or something. I might have it in here. So uh, run path. So here build map from string. What does this do? Map has current, set current. Uh, that's not what I need. I just need to traverse it, I guess. So this can take uh, the map. Or it might have to take the whole map. And then what would I do? I'll probably have this while on the map, which in this case is an iterator. Um, maybe I should call it iterator actually. So iterator next, and this would then have to, so if there's something in the iterator, we would have to call this function again with value or so x x dot branches right branch branches I think because branches contain um like the um, another map I guess and what is this b okay. So we walk and I'll call this walk map function and that would have to take uh, the iterator, right? Yes, I think. And let's try to print it and uh, run to see what it does. So entries of undefined, cannot do entries of undefined because this have to do entries, I think. Oh, yes, because I'm using this right. I have to do that. It's not very good, but whatever. And let's see. So, cannot get that off branches. So, what is branches even? So, next iterator. Okay, let's print something. Print something. Um, drum, drum. Uh, maybe we should just. What is on this branches? Is that wrong? Undefined, undefined. Okay, so that's not good. Oh. I've actually spelled it wrong. <laughs> Great. I think I'll fix that another day. It doesn't matter. Okay. So it's still not giving me. Why is it not giving this? Shouldn't it be printing a map undefined? Like in any case, it should be printing a map, I think. And I probably can't do entries because of the map not. Map object. 
Oh yes, wait a minute. So this returns what? This returns a map. So I'd have to access. I'm not sure that I'm even accessing this or that. I have to access this map right in the iterator. Oh. God, how do you do that? I forgot. Is that even the reason why? Do I have to say get? I probably have to say get. Probably have to look up, right, yes. So how do I get that value? I have to look up this. Uh, yeah, I, that's not just a name. I, I'm not gonna rename it right now. I'll do that at another point. Uh, <laughs> I want to fix this. So get, I have to get, uh, so this prints a map. Uh, you know, names, whatever, fuck names anyways doesn't matter so all that matters is the code behind you know the names could be X and Y it's not the it's not the main problem that's what I mean um, my problem right now is figuring out how I exit access uh, this map um, and I'm not really sure that's a problem maybe but I guess I can go in here or something. Um, let me see. We can look at this route map. So route map dot root map. That's what I've done. And what's here clear? So this gets a map and what entries get a map iterator, which gives you so this gives you the p key value pair, right? Uh, can you access it by, you cannot. Dot next, dot value, right? So this gives, okay, so this gives an array. That's very good. So meaning that X is an array with key value pairs. So I guess I can do a key. Key is key equal X, X zero, right? And the value will then be, uh, I'll call it V, X, or value will be X1. And then what we will have to do um, is, let me see, we have to call, um, meaning that we get the value and we get the array one which will give us a new map object where we then have to pass the branches if the branches are not zero uh, or what oh, this is <laughs> this is a dif difficult one it's a difficult one so values dot branches right values dot branches is that correct you pass on here and then we can try to print uh, the value maybe and see what it actually does. And next that iterator is undefined. So where did it become undefined? It's probably down here, the map object. Um, which means I might have to check if this value is undefined or what, let me see. So it's undefined here, so meaning that I can guess if that is not equal undefined, then I guess we do it. And let's also, so where where's this printing coming from? Where's the printing coming from? Value, value, this. So root, it doesn't seem to walk in because I have to make an iterator here, right? So this has to be each entries or no. God damn it. Walk map branches, entries, value, value. Oh, but that's not, 
Is this a real map? I'm not sure. I don't like debugging in here. It's way easier to debug in here, to be honest. So this returns a map object which I can access. Branches doesn't exist, 404. Oh, that was why, maybe. Yes, okay, good, good, good. This looks like something. Uh, yes, I think this is it. I think this is it. There's a lot of undefined, right, but whatever. Um, it looks like it. Okay. So now the complexity is what? Um, we can loop over the, the paths which should um, have a sitemap. And then I guess we can look at uh, this. So uh, function create URL sitemap map XML or something. Let's have this. So I would actually have, I would have to find, find um, the paths in the router. And then when I have the paths in the router, I guess I would have to find the files um, on the machine, right? Um, I think it's just solving problems anyways. So here we have to write that and uh, this have to go. This also have to go. That and, that. and I think I'll leave this out. So these would have to be written to some kind of file, right? So this is a function and it probably have to take um, three parameters. Give them these. And so this one we can use. I guess this function is fine. Um, so now there are other complex things. I guess um, I'm not sure if I should look too deep into this right now, but I might look for um, Node.js file. Um, I guess we need a recursive file function anyways. So, or some, let me see, or what do we call it? Node.js directory recursive walk or something. Maybe it's already made. I don't know if it's made already. Else I guess I'll do it. Oh, this looks like cancer. Holy fucking shit. Holy fucking shit. What the fuck? Maybe I should just make my own, then it's already done, right? Hmm. Guess we can look at the documentation or something. Might as well do it, maybe. So is directory fs direct? What is the more close? Read stream, fs stat. 
right stream uh, access maybe that's what we need append file file sync uh, maybe I actually need to look at directories instead um, Join, normalize, parse, resolve. Um, Can't require path. Uh, no JS, no JS. Get all directories. I guess that's, and then I can do the recursion myself, right? Uh, require a path, it seems, and also fs. I guess that's what you need. All right. So is directory. Okay. So source is directory. Something here. No JS absolute path. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by that. I guess I need to get these anyways. So path, should I call that? I'm not sure. So is directory source? What is the source? Lstat sync is directory. What is this? Lstat sync. Okay. What does it return? Returns FS stats. And what is FS stats? FS stats object provides information about a file. So it only provides information about files or what? I need information about a dictionary or a directory. Sorry. I guess I can try it out. Um, let's see. FSD. Maybe. Oh, I think there was something. FS. No, just FS read gear, maybe. Read deer sync. That might be it. Read deer. Let's look at that. Okay, FS read deer. What does it return? Asynchronous read deer reads the content of a directory. The callback gets two arguments: error files, where files is an array of the names of the files in the directory included. Dot. Okay, so I guess this is what we need. Um, I'll make uh, so function function. Um, what would we call it? Um, yeah, I'll just call it that, whatever. <laughs> and, and this 100% have to call itself, right? Um, and if, if, if false, then we return or something. Um, so let's see, we need to import this FS, so node, node, uh, node.js import or uh, require, right. I'm not sure what this file system is within. Uh, hopefully I can find it somewhere. Okay, I think it was... Oh, so fs require fs, so it's just fs. Let's remove this for now, not to clutter it too much. Call this read deer and we get we don't get parameters. Great. 
Great, so it takes a path and a callback. So how does this work? Um, oh, God damn it. Oh, so here, function error items. Okay, I'll copy paste this because that's what you do, right? When you code, <laughs> real coding is copy pasting. Okay, so items. Items are the items of this, and uh, that's exactly what we need. And I guess that's where we need to call that. And we need to call it with. Uh, do we need to call it? Wait a minute. So path. Um, so this loops over. I get, actually, let me just loop over. It's simple for now. So item. This goes to items. Dot i, and let's call this function. And this function will then take a path. And we have to define the path up here, which is the same as we used in here. Let me get that and copy here, and then we call that function. And let's think. I think that's what we need actually, so we can try to run it. Um, it's not recursive yet, but let's see. Seems to run over something here, or what? Uh, this is still going, so let's see. Or what? Why is it printing this? Hmm. I don't get that. Why is it giving me this map? Do I console lock that anywhere? Do I console lock it anywhere? Oh shit, is this because? Maybe it's just this one. Yeah, okay, so we get these, good, 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 good. Um, okay, very good. Meaning that what I would need to do is that I would have to take this path and I would have to plus, um, plus the item, right? So let's see the path ends with two slashes and these contain um, contain none of that. We also don't get, it seems we don't get which kind of folder this is within, right? Or do we? I guess that's where I have to check actually here. Um, so this is what we have. Index.js, block games, it's fine, but why are these located out here when the other is not? That's very confusing to me. Oh, I guess it's because of this one, right? Yes or no. Items, read dears. Yes, this is the directories. Good, 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 good. Meaning that we would have, so if, I guess we can do something like um, um, node.js is directory, right? So we check if it is a directory and if it is a directory, um, directory. Okay, so that has to be based on stats, is file, is directory. And how do we get, so fs get stats, meaning that I, I guess I need to look up actually here, uh, fs stats. So fs stats takes what? It takes a path and a callback. Uh, now it's gonna be callback hell, right? But I guess I will learn it one day. I'm not very good at fixing these callback issues. Um, is Because I guess I just, I just really need, I don't need all of this stuff. I have to still give the path, right? Um, and is there, okay, so you can maybe actually do this. 
Maybe you don't need to have a callback. Right. I'm not sure. Let's try, I guess. Maybe it's not synchronous or something like that. And if it's a deer, then we have to call the function again, right? With the new path. So, um, new path is equal items i and let me see here actually. I'm not sure what does this print if I remove the slashes. I'm inside the view folder, right? Throwback, invalid callback. Okay, so maybe you actually need a callback here. Um, it could also be because of this. Using the synchronous. Oh, ah, yes. Yes, might be why. Let's do that actually. I don't care about it being async actually right now. I think doesn't matter. Okay, so path argument must be of type string, buffer URL, or URL. Uh, so let's see, and that's because I think I haven't updated. Let's try to print the path or the new path. So the new path contains this, which actually looks completely fine. So why wouldn't that work? FS syncs that. How do you debug this stuff? Is there a way you can debug Node.js? Can I put a breakpoint? Uh, the path argument must be a type string. Oh, this is a string, right? Some path, does it have to be in a try catch or something? Maybe the paths have to be the other way or something. Buffer URL error invalid argument type. Invalid argument type. Hmm. I guess I'm, how do you even see what lines? 17, 8. I guess that's it, why? 24, 17. 24, 17. Oh, maybe this, yes, yes, of course, I'm stupid. I'm fucking stupid. Of course, it's because I'm checking and where did that is directory? Let's call this to 
retreat. I guess that's why. So we pass and yes, very good. It's not very fast though. I think. I think Python was almost faster. Yeah, okay, it's fast. I guess it's the console log write that does it. Um, anyways, so we have our recursive function, that's fine. Uh, walk. That's good. Um, and then, so now it's now it's gonna be interesting, I think, or difficult, because I I have to have two lists and only the list where um, where they are similar. So only the files I have in here has to be, yeah, I need to compare. That's exactly right. Um, yeah, file matching. It's not really file matching. That's the problem. <laughs> if it was just file matching, it would be very easy, right? Um, the problem is it's, um, it's data from JavaScript code, which is formatted in somewhat uh, difficult way. Yes, it's string matching but the string don't match up. Uh, so I have to figure out uh, exactly how the string matches up. Um, and I also think, so maybe, maybe, maybe something here, maybe this have to be uh, a variable actually. So stat, because I might need to use this. So this get the stats of of the directory, right, I think. Yes, this gets the stats of the directory. Um, and <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> compare, give me a result. Yeah, that would be the easy way, right? I also have to make it because it's only ja the JavaScript files, and so I probably should do something. Um, uh, I guess actually I can do this. Maybe I should make a switch here. A switch is probably the best. Might as well use the um, you know the good things, right? So we can have cases. Case, uh, how do you even do? Uh, I sometimes forget uh, the, what would you call it? Like the, um, the syntax here. And so if x, then we have to run some code. So if stat is directory, right? So is dear, um, then we go here and we call, uh, oops, call this, And I guess we can have one more case, and this case will be stat dot. I think, um, I guess we have to look up this stat uh, node.js and we'll see what attributes this contain. Um, stat. So stat, okay. Let's see, what does it returns an object or something? Um, if a stat, so okay. So can we get uh, we can get these things? That's all fine, I suppose. Uh, how do you get the path here? Maybe I can print the stat. Actually, let me try that out. And can we move this? And that doesn't work. Let's just get rid of that for now. This one. 
Okay. So if stat directory is this is not anything anymore. Oh good. So C time M time, I don't know what, but I guess I have the time here, which is good. Um, I don't have the name though, which I do not like. Um, <laughs> compare, give me result. If result equal wrong, what the fuck you're trying to do? Else you did it or <laughs> something. Damn man, gotta watch out. <laughs> okay, so step. Let me see. So if this is not true, actually a switch is actually stupid here, isn't it? Because if it's not, I I guess it's like this, right? I don't need a switch. I just need if else, right? Because there is only two cases which can happen. Yeah, there's only two cases that can happen. So a switch is not that useful, maybe. Um, I could have two values right in the switch, but... So if it's directory, then we call this function again. Um, else, else, else we have to look at the path. So let me pass it here, get rid of that. Uh, can you lose? Can you use loops query? Oh, uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Okay, so, so, let me. Uh, God damn it! I'll try this. Okay, so this only prints. Yes, this only prints the files. Meaning that um, I think there was something. Um, get file extension. Uh, no JS, right? So we can get the file extension somehow. So path requires. So we have to use path. We have to use uh, that. And what we will do is then we say path path dot. Uh, what does it say? Extension name. Yes, extension name. And we take the path. And if this so now it's already getting uh, a bit, but if this is equal JS, then I'll stop that, please. Then we print it, so we shouldn't get all the images now. Uh, and that didn't work because path.xName, path is not a function. Hmm. What? Why? Oh shit, that's why. Uh, that's why. Okay, so we print all the JS files, that's good. Um, so we have all the JS files, and now I guess what we would have to do then Oh, sh so I would have to collect all these probably. Um, I'm not sure how you return in here, but maybe I can pass a list here. So this one would take um, a list or an array, um, which we would write to, so push down here. Um, and we would push the whole path and then in the end of this function, we would we would return the list. So it should. I think that writes to it, right? I guess we can try. Um, yes, path list. All that, and we can try to do console dot lock. And I'm not sure if this is probably not synchronous. Is there a sync here? All right. Okay, 
so it doesn't fill the list um, because of what hmm Again, 404 doesn't exist. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. Oh, you saw that error. I mean here or something. Um. I guess it's because I need to pass this here, right? To this function, maybe. No. How do you pass an array here, which you can then... How do you... I guess this is where um, you need to pa pass a pointer or something. How do you do that? If it was, I guess, other languages, maybe. Oh, no. How do you fill a list within this? I'm not exactly sure. Wait, I'm calling. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Shh. Yeah, I have to. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Um. How do you pass a list to a function? I don't get it. I need to pass an empty list. Oh shit, I'm stupid. That's why I'm stupid. I uh, didn't work. I'm not stupid. That's not it. How did, how did you actually do it? Okay, so fill array within a callback from async series. Um, da, 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 da. It's not async. Uh, all this stuff. I just need to append elements to a list. But I'm not sure how you do it. I'm not sure how you do it. Like that. Do I dare to click on this? Oh, just do it. So, Pass an empty array. I mean, it gotta stop. Why can't I not pass? Uh, let's. Oh, maybe. Let me see. Var array. Let me see. Maybe I I have to do this, and like this, and then the function doesn't return anything. No. Uh, I need to fill the array. You know. I need to pass the array uh, or a list to this function, uh, like a, a non, what would you say? And then I have to, if it's a, a JavaScript file, then I have to push it into the list, but I need to access the list outside of this function, right? So I have the list here. Um, but I'm not sure how you do it when it's inside callbacks and so on. Um, like really not. And I'm not sure if this have like a third parameter or something or how you how you even do this. How you do this? It seems like it's only two parameters or something. Path and then options. Maybe is this an array or something? Data callback read file. Uh, 
Maybe it's wrong to pass it here as a parameter. Maybe it's already array doesn't exist. That's fine. Yeah, there's no data added to the list down here. This is just JavaScript, right? Push, push my data. Do you have to do this in a specific way? Oh, it's also because it's like recursion, right? So, okay, I call this function and we read a directory based on a path. We then get in this function and we have the items uh, from within that uh, directory. Um, we create a new path based on the directories within the directory so we can look up the new directories, right? Um, we then get the, the data, the, the file data or the file stat or the directory stat, whatever you want to call this. Uh, and check if it's a directory. And if it's a directory, then we call the the function itself again with the, the new directory path, meaning that this would be a directory, a level lower than the, the root directory. Um, but the problem is not that, uh, uh, the problem is not that right now. Or wait a minute, am I stupid? I'm fucking stupid. Of course, this doesn't work. Um, what did I do? Node path, wait a minute. That's why. That's goddamn why. Or what? This doesn't equal... Okay, yeah, I'm working on... St wait a minute, that's why it's not even printing. There's something wrong here. Something wrong. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we can print again. There was some mistake. I don't know. Apparently, there's that sync was not good. Um, so let's see. Can we? print this so this doesn't return anything I guess the return is not not right uh, list but why is this not doing anything then hmm oh interesting so this is not God damn. So this is this is async, right? Um, so I have to figure out how I wait for this function or something. I need to wait for it to finish before I do anything. Um, callback. Resolve. Should I make using promise? I guess this is maybe what I want. Um, so I guess let's clean up this stuff function uh, start or something so start is gonna have the call to the functions and I guess we have to call this in the end and we then have to make a new promise which is resolved but when is it resolved Because if this is I mean there is this 
Why didn't that work? Why is this not working? Return. Oh. Yes. Okay, I'll not do it async. We do it this way. So files, files equal that. And then that's done. And we take this here, remove that. Get that and files or this is this is actually directories I guess always or not always we can also call it items actually items that's fine let's see what happens then okay it gets to something and then no such file as no such file as. Well, why can you look it up then? I fuck. This is not fucking working. This is not working. Object stat stat if a stat path stat stat this 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 no such file or directory no such file or directory and where does it fail i'm not very good at reading this error hmm. 38 is directory oh This is where I need to. Throw second. But why is it also doing that? And where is it failing? Oh. So it's already in here and it tries to find that. Um But it's directory. It's not a directory. I'm done now. I'm going to take a break. So I'll see you.